When you create a new session in Digital Performer, your project will consist of a project folder that contains an audio files folder, an autosave folder, and a Digital Performer document. It's important that we maintain this file structure when saving DP files. Should any of these components be moved out of place, your session file may not work. When you launch Digital Performer, you can choose to create a new file from scratch, create a new file from a template, or open an existing file. Let's start by opening the Film Scoring New Default Project. From here, we'll go to File Save Copy As. Digital Performer immediately asks for a new project name. Title your project with this naming convention. Last name underscore first name underscore student ID number underscore assignment title. Digital Performer defaults to the last used folder when you saved a project. It's important to pay attention here because you don't want to save one project inside of another. Choose the Documents folder and click New Folder. Then title it Digital Performer Projects and click Create. Select the folder that you just made and then click Save. Digital Performer project files can pile up over time, so it's not recommended to leave these on your desktop. Now, open the new file that we just created. By default, Digital Performer autosaves your project every 5 minutes, and it keeps the last 20 autosaves in the Projects folder, should anything go wrong with your project. However, if you decide to make a drastic change to your project, it's a good idea to save a version. You do this by going to File, Save As. Make sure not to check Duplicate Audio and Copy Shares Samples to Project, and save the new document file in the same project folder. This allows the project to have access to the same audio resources and it doesn't take up much space.